I'm joined now with Richard, aka Vegan Sidekick. How's it going, Richard? Yeah, really good. Everyone's been really positive so far. Yeah. The last time we spoke, we had a few technical issues. Yeah. <laughs> which you remember, you just reminded me of. Thank you very much. Yeah, no um, but we're going to have sound now. So, the, um, could you talk actually a little bit about what, what you do, just in case anyone who's watching today doesn't know who you are? Yeah, sure thing. Um, I started a page on Facebook about basically the type of arguments that people use against veganism and try to explain in a vaguely humorous way why that's not the case because it's difficult sometimes to get people to read a lengthy article as factual as it can be they don't have the time or they find it boring or whatever or they just refuse to, to do it yeah. whereas these comics are easily shareable so that you can say look at this this is the type of thing certain people say when they're trying to defend eating uh, animal products or buying animal products in general and this is why it just doesn't work um, so it's easily shareable as quick as over and done with and a lot of people will read them before they even realise it's about veganism you know because if it said this is about veganism people might most likely skip anyway definitely yeah so the question I'm asking everyone today is what does activism mean to you? activism I suppose would be trying to create change in society do something so that the norm is shifting in a, in a new direction um, I suppose yeah <laughs> And I know, obviously, you're you're designing comics and you're putting your activism out there that way. But would you say that's your style, or how would you describe your style of activism? I suppose I don't I don't really know. I suppose it's kind of edutainment in a way. Mm -hmm. It's a way of getting across new information, new ways of, of thinking, with humour involved, so that the process isn't so kind of tedious or stagnant and you're not just looking at it going here's why you're wrong here's why you should change it's just like this is a fun interaction and people can come away from it and think yeah that, yeah that made me laugh and I can see how that's just nonsense and I shouldn't think like that yeah. um, in terms of like branding it in some way I'm not really not really sure how I'd how I'd classify it but yeah edu educational comics I suppose yeah that's awesome and I know they it's it's really useful when you're having a discussion with someone they're just not getting what you're saying and you're trying really logically to it, you know, get it across. Yeah. I often just send one of your your comics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that that's, that's handy. A lot of people say, like, if you just share it out of the blue, it could feel like you're hitting someone over the head because yeah. a lot of people say, well, I never said anything as stupid yeah. as that. So why are you, why are you sharing this? Not all non vingers are, are this stupid, which mm -hmm. is true. Uh, but if you're in the middle of saying, uh, having a discussion with somebody and they say, yeah, but my ancestors did this or plants have got feelings and whatever else. If you've got a, a comic and you say, look, this is what you just said, literally what you just said. And here's how stupid that is. Just think about this for a second. Hopefully they can back down from that and go, yeah, okay. No, it doesn't always work like that, unfortunately, because most likely they'll say something else and you need to go through it. But yeah, it's a shortcut, isn't it? Yeah. And it's also a way of saying, look, this isn't new. Someone's already made a comic about this. It's been said a million times by a million different people and it's been counted a million times mm -hmm. already. So just leave it. Yeah, I usually get a mix of reactions when I send like one of your comics. It's either like anger, like absolute denial, or they actually start to open up a little bit. Yeah. So it's one of those three. Um, how do you deal with trolls? Because you get quite a lot like contacting you, don't you, through yeah. Instagram and on your page and stuff? Well, it's difficult sometimes to tell the difference between a troll, meaning somebody who's just there to irritate you and has no desire to even have a discussion, and someone who's legitimately saying the same thing, thinking it's an actual argument, you know? Because you get people going, you know, have you not read this, art this article that says the plants have, have got sensation and blah, blah? And you've got other people who go, yeah, but plants have got feelings. And sometimes you think, the person who's more worthy, are they actually any more legitimate than the trolls? Are they really, are they really saying this as an argument? Do they really go to a supermarket and go, steak, beans, same sort of thing, because these beans had feelings? They don't really think that, you know? But whether they're saying it to wind you up or not, that's like the first step is to say, am I just going to dismiss this? Because if someone's there going, mm, bacon or whatever, yeah. what I tend to do is just block them these yeah. days. I used to say like, you know, that's the only thing you've got to say in defense of this. We're talking about massacring billions of sentient beings every year and you're here going, mm, bacon. It's a terrible argument. Yeah. But I don't tend to bother these days because that's what they want. They yeah. want you to get annoyed. They want some reaction. So I'd rather just say, nah, block you. Um, when someone's making a point and they think they're being smart, that's when I'm more inclined to get hooked and say, you're not smart, you know. You think this is the most intelligent thing ever, and yeah. it's really not. It really isn't. And they need someone to knock them down a peg. And that's, mm -hmm. I, I feel inclined to do it. But more and more these days, 
I think it's not, it's not possible for one person to deal with potentially thousands of trolls. So I, I'm moving more and more away from not even reading the, the comments. You mustn't have the time. I don't have time to physically do it, to have, the, to have an actual proper conversation with all these people, and I end up getting sarcastic with them, which isn't, which isn't good, no. because they, they think, oh, these guys are just taking the piss out of me now, yeah. so that's no good. And I think that people who have got legitimate questions and who write to me in a private message and say, look, I'm trying to go vegan, I'm struggling with this. I, I, one of the most common things I get is, I'm a teenager, my parents won't let me go vegan, what do I do? Those are the people to focus your time yeah, on. Definitely rather than worry about how you handle trolls, just dismiss trolls. Yep. Focus on people you think are genuinely mm -hmm. likely to go vegan, yeah. Otherwise it's a waste of energy, right? It can be, and un but unfortunately, there are so many people who have got it in for vegans who are, who are upset and want to fight, and you start to think, man, when are they ever gonna wake up? Mm -hmm. But will it is, will, and will they ever wake up? But yeah, I mean, it's gonna hopefully come to a point where you get such a, a percentage of society is, is vegan or vegetarian or whatever, to the point that the, demand for animal products is so low that it's just not a possible industry anymore and so everyone will have to be plant-based at, at, at the very least because that's just how it will be or, or in terms of the environment and sustainability you just have to do it and these people who are saying I'm bacon or whatever they're just going to have to suck it up and, and deal with it like with like with everything else like racism and sexism um, we live in societies where they're not tolerated yeah. well in this country it's not tolerated but you're still going to have some residual, you're going to have residual people being sexist and people being racist, but they know they need to watch their mouth and shut up because people know that that's, that's, that's wrong, you know? And then I think in future that's how it'll be. You'll have these trolls who still say, oh, in my day we had bacon and blah, blah, and that's how it should be now, but it won't be. And they'll be in the minority, hopefully, yeah, by then. I look forward to that day. Thank you very much. Yeah. No worries, nice to speak to you. And you. What does activism mean to you? So I'll ask you individually. Okay, so activism means to me to see what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, and imagine you're... Even if I know some of you might have periods that are really hard going each month and I'm quite, I've been quite lucky in my life, not really had terrible period pain.